Welcome to Explore the Way. In this video, I am going to explain the structure of VHDL program. First of all, VHDL is a hardware description language that can be used to describe hardware. The structure of VHDL consists of three parts. First one, library declaration. Second one is entity declaration. And third one is architecture definition. These are the three parts. First one is library declaration. To describe any hardware, some components are required. All the components are available in a library. Okay, that library, you, sh you should declare that library while writing VHDL code. VHDL is one of the IEEE standard. So, generally by default, we are using IEEE library. And the second one is entity declaration. Suppose, let us have a logic circuit like this. Any logic circuit. This logic circuit consists of number of inputs and number of outputs. Number of inputs and number of outputs. The inputs and outputs that are available to outside is called primary inputs and primary outputs. These primary inputs and primary outputs are declared in the entity. And the third one, architecture definition. In architecture definition, the internal logic of the logic circuit is described here. The behavior of the logic circuit can be described any one of the three modeling styles. First one is data flow modeling. Second one, behavioral modeling. And the third one, structural modeling. So, by using any one of these three modeling styles, we can describe the behavior of a logic circuit. Now, we will write the syntax for VHDL. First part is library declaration. All the required components for VHDL are available in IEEE library. So, write library IEEE. like this and use IEEE dot in the IEEE library what packages you are going to use. So you may use any of the available packages. So suppose I am using standard logic package. You should write like this std underscore logic underscore 1164. 1164 is the IEEE IEEE standard for standard package. So from this package what components you are going to use you have to list out here. Suppose I am using all the components. In that case you should write all. So this is about library part. And if you are using any other packages along with standard logic you can declare here. Okay. And the second part is entity. Entity. Write entity name is. So here these inputs and output should be declared here. In VHDL these inputs and outputs are called ports. Input ports and output ports. All the ports are declared by using the keyword port open bracket. And here close bracket. In this brackets we need to declare all the ports. Input and output ports. So how to declare signal name signal name mode then signal type. This is for one port. Suppose this port is port name is in one. In that case, how to write? In 1 and the direction is mode or direction is in. This is signal data type. So, signal type. So, like this, you can declare all the signals. All the input and output signals. So, for every signal should end with semicolon. But for the last one, after closing the bracket, you should put semicolon. Then end the entity. End entity name. 
coming to the next part that is architecture start with the keyword architecture then write the name of the architecture so this is the architecture for this is the architecture for this particular entity so we need to write architecture architecture name of entity name entity name is entity name is architecture architecture name of entity name is so the structure of architecture is like this start with architecture and then here we have begin so this part is called declarative part of the architecture this part is called declarative part in this part we can declare type declarations we can write type declarations signal declarations constant declarations component declarations if you have any function you can write function definition and procedure definitions also function and procedure definitions also this part is called body of the architecture begin to end this part is called body of the architecture in this body of the architecture you need to write all the concurrent statements so you may write one or more concurrent statements and end the architecture with end architecture name so this is the syntax of vhdl so the syntax consists of this part first library part library part is common for all any code library name of the library and then use what packages you are going to use like this you by using the use clause i triple e dot the package name from the package what component you are going to use that can describe here and then coming to the entity write entity entity name is write all the input and po output ports are declared within the brackets here every port should end with semicolon but for the last one after closing bracket you should put semicolon and coming to architecture here this part is declarative part of the architecture the part between begin and end begin end this part is called body body of the architecture this body of the architecture is described by using any one of the three modeling styles that may be data flow modeling style behavioral modeling style or structural modeling style or combination of one or more modeling styles also this is the structure of vhdl if you like this video please like comment and subscribe for more videos thank you